Hey guys, how's everyone doing out there? So we have a new recipe for you and these are probably gonna be one of my favorites because they're double chocolate. So we've made for you muffins as you can see and inside, let's pick a good one, you can see little chocolate chips. And those are Lily's chocolate chips. We also shaved in some Baker's chocolate so it's like triple chocolate even. Um, so we made this recipe originally as a loaf, but we decided to make it into little muffins. So you can go either way with it, have fun with it. So let's get to bacon. So you guys just saw me put that together, right? 
What you didn't see was Matt licking the bowl after I finished pouring out all the batter. So this size recipe can also be made into a loaf, as I mentioned before. You just wanna cook it slightly longer. So as opposed to the 20 minutes we did for these little muffins, you wanna go more 30, 35. And then another tip you might have not noticed, but we'll let you in on after um, trying it, is that these aren't as sweet as you might want. Uh, for something that's double triple chocolate so we like to go light on our sweets so we didn't put a lot in these they're more like muffins as opposed to like dessert cupcakes but you can add as much or keep out all the sweetener if you want if you just want like the intense chocolate flavor because you have the cocoa powder you have the chocolate chips and then you have the baker's chocolate so that's really intense by itself even with, even without all the sweetener so I'm gonna give it a try mmm so what I like about this is that it's still really moist and you can feel the moist when you even touch them. They've been out for about half a day now, but you ideally want to store them in the fridge. They'll probably store well for about three to four days, but I'm sure you will eat them before that time even comes. <laughs> Walnuts would go really good in these. Actually, any nut. So any nut you have in the house, anything ideal you want to throw in, you can throw in some cinnamon, you can top these with some homemade whipped cream. There's a lot of different ways you can go with these, and they're great to just make and maybe t take to your kid's bake sale. They don't even taste keto, and that's most of our recipes, as you guys know. They're just so delicious, not even like your friends will know the difference. So you saw we've been using this new product that we have in our house. It's the peanut flour. We absolutely love it, and we definitely recommend you guys get it. We got ours on Amazon. So since we did use peanut flour, there is a slight hint, hint of peanut butter taste in the muffins already. So if you wanna add additional peanut butter, that would really go great. It would also make the muffin even more moist. So the peanut flour here is comparable to coconut flour in the way it absorbs liquids a lot more than almond flour does. So a little with this will go a long way, just like it would with coconut flour. But let me give you some stat breakdown in case you haven't um, ever looked at it for peanut flour. So a fourth of a cup is 110 calories, four grams of fat, four grams of net carbs, and six grams of protein. So generally when you are cooking with peanut flour as opposed to almond flour, the calorie content will be less because you're just using less flour altogether. So for this recipe, like you saw, we used a half a cup of peanut flour and it made all these muffins. We definitely recommend having it in your house and using it to start making desserts and breads and we'll start using it a lot more so you'll get a lot more recipes coming your way. So go out, make these, let us know what is up and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.